Hey everybody, my name is Jason Smith and welcome back to another episode of DTV. First off, we have a video about the snowball dance by Luis Aaron Lozano. Welcome back to People in the Halls. I'm Emerson. And I'm Emma. And today we have two questions and a drawing challenge. Let's go. <laughs> so I'm here with Lake and Becker, yeah. Kari Kai, uh, Nadia Wisner, Corbin, Sky Holsey, <laughs> Olivia Walton, Officer Kirk Brown. Okay, so I'm going to ask you two questions and then there's a drawing challenge. Okay. So what did you guys do over your break? I hung out with my friends the whole break. Nice. I slept the whole time. What did you do with your friends? Uh, we went to eat, we went shopping. I was in Susical. I went to Susical and also went to the woods. <laughs> I got four days off of work, so that was pretty exciting. Uh, I went to a gun range and I shot my grandfather's new gun. Okay. Played a lot of video games and hung out with my kiddos and wife. <laughs> And what are your hallway pet peeves? Slow walkers. Agreed. When people don't take showers. Um, when people push you, like forward. When a whole group of kids, like especially the popular kids, are just sitting there and they're walking very slowly and you're behind them and you can't go around them because they're so big. <laughs> Understandable. When people just stop, just they just stop. I agree. People, just people. <laughs> People in general, yeah. Whenever kids don't go to class and they just roam the halls. Go to class. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a drawing challenge. Okay. And so you have to draw SpongeBob okay. with your eyes closed. Oh, 30, 30 minutes? 30 okay. seconds? Okay, one, two, three, go. <laughs> three, two, one. Lincoln, why did you <laughs> Now you guys are doing a 30 second drawing challenge of a person. And that was 30 minutes. <laughs> I did. You already said it. 30 seconds starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to do a quick drawing challenge. Two, one, go. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> Great 
great. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching people in the halls. <laughs> <laughs>
Here's a teacher interview by Chanel Ewings. I'm Molly Adams and I teach math at Derby High School um, and I've taught for, this is my 12th year now. Uh, my first two years were in Garden City and I taught at their high school and then I got the job here about 10 years ago from Mr. Hamlin. Um, I started teaching because at the time I graduated with a math degree and the job economy was not great and it seemed like every job wanted a more specific degree um, and I really liked math and I really liked working with high school students because I was a camp counselor for a few years prior to that so I thought teaching was kind of a natural segue to my career so that's why I got into the teaching profession and I had to go to school full-time in order to be a teacher so I went to Wichita State and did classes concurrently while I had my first year a teaching assignment out in Garden City so it was a busy first year for me um, as I've been teaching, I've really enjoyed working with students from year to year, and that's probably the highlight of my job. Um, I also do enjoy summers off and all the holidays, so that's not a bad perk too. Um, but the students are really the biggest, the biggest reason I teach. Um, and I just teach math because it was one of my favorite subjects in school and I really liked it. So, what else did I need to answer? Okay. <laughs> Fletcher Robinette has an interview with Mr. Pontus for y'all. Why do you teach reality? So I like teaching reality because I feel that it translates really well into just life skills that um, people need in order to be successful and it's kind of overlooked. Some of the things that we taught I wish would have been taught to me because I feel like it gives students kind of a leg up when they go out into the real world and they just become more uh, prepared to be successful as a young adult. What is your favorite part about teaching reality? I like a lot of the different pieces of it, but probably my favorite part is the business essentials portion of it. Um, a lot with money management, the importance of savings, um, basic knowledge about investments and uh, utilizing banking accounts and all, all sorts of things. Again, it kind of goes back to it wasn't taught to to me when I was in high school and then uh, I think it's so valuable because if you don't get taught it you you have to go out into the real world and figure it out on your own and that's kind of when some mistakes happen so um, by giving them a basic understanding of it, it sets them up for success in the future so I think that's a good thing. How long have you been teaching? So my experience teaching reality this is my fourth year teaching reality but it's been in two um, two year sections so I was at Derby High School um, and then I left to go be an administrator at Derby Middle School. Um, when, before I left, I was a reality teacher. And then when I came back, I got to teach reality again. And this is my second year back, so four years total, I think. So. What is your favorite lesson to teach? It's hard to pick one. I think the um, lesson that Pando Initiative does with Reality U, it's a simulation of kind of budgeting simulation. and. The students set up, uh, get get a paycheck, and they have to pay their mortgage and pay a car payment and show, shop for groceries. Um, I feel like that one translates really well, um, and the kids enjoy it. So that's a fun one. What is your favorite part about teaching your students? My, my favorite part about being a teacher is is uh, every day is different. You know, you get to interact with a bunch of different people. Um, my favorite part about teaching the students is when they see that application and they get excited and um, really get into a lesson that's a, that's good because I think when they see the value in it um, it kind of reinforces why we're doing what we're doing and that's I think why every teacher's probably here My strength up real quick okay all right and finally it's sports time Last Tuesday, the boys basketball team won against Hutch 66-52. The girls also defeated Hutch 35-16.
Congratulations to Amara Isha for winning state for wrestling back to back. Also, congratulations to Trinity Williams for fourth place finishing at state. That's it for DTV this week. Stay tuned for next week.